Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla is planning massive output from Giga Texas in Q1 2023. Real-time insurance telematics face privacy barriers in widespread adoption. Tesla Sentry mode gets refined to better detect vehicle break-ins. And, Tesla updates Model S and X with larger rear screen. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla is planning a massive ramp up in Model Y production output from Gigafactory Texas in Q1 2023. In the meantime, the situation is a bit more complex in the United States, with the pending tax credit. Tesla has been keeping us updated on progress in the production ramp at Gigafactory Berlin, which has been producing 2,000 Model Y vehicles per week since last month. The automaker is also simultaneously ramping production up at Gigafactory Texas. Tesla is a bit more tight-lipped, however, on the production rate at the Austin factory. Tesla confirmed a production rate of 1,000 Model Ys a week back in June and confirmed having produced its 10,000th Model Y in September. But, the company never confirmed a production rate of 2,000 units per week, like it did for Gigafactory Berlin. Nonetheless, we now learn that Tesla is feeling extremely confident about the production ramp at Gigafactory Texas. A reliable source familiar with the matter told Electrek that Tesla is currently preparing for 75,000 Model Y vehicles to come out of Gigafactory Texas next quarter. That would put Tesla's production rate at Gigafactory Texas at over 5,000 units per week throughout the whole quarter. Even though Tesla is preparing for that kind of output in Q1 2023, it is not in a hurry to get there in Q4, as it is still establishing the logistics to be able to handle that kind of volume increase in the United States. 5,000 units per week is generally Tesla's goal for volume production, and where Tesla wants to be with the Model Y at Giga Texas before moving its focus to Cybertruck production. Additionally, sources familiar with the matter told Electrek that Tesla is dealing with some level of cancellations in the United States right now due to long wait times, leading to some customers' situations changing between the time they place their order and the actual delivery. Furthermore, Tesla is also dealing with some customers looking to push their deliveries into next year to take advantage of the upcoming new EV tax credit. As we previously reported, Tesla is not as accommodating as other automakers when it comes to the new EV tax credit and it is holding its customers to their order contracts. They can't push deliveries to try to secure the tax credit that comes into effect next year. Due to this situation, Tesla appears to be nervous about finding itself with a lot of vehicles in inventory in the United States, like it did last quarter. Moving to the next update, real-time insurance telematics face privacy barriers in widespread adoption. Real-time insurance telematics is an ideal way for drivers to receive insurance rates based on their driving behaviors. However, a new study from the Insurance Research Council IRC, shows privacy concerns are still a significant barrier to the widespread adoption of the program. Telematics and usage-based insurance UBI programs are ideal because they track driving behaviors ranging from miles driven to braking habits to determine appropriate automotive insurance premiums. Safe driving habits usually result in cost savings. A survey of over 2,000 drivers earlier this year showed that more than half of consumers saw telematics programs help decrease their overall insurance premium. 8 out of 10 surveyed participants also stated it helped change the way they drive. However, there are a select few people who still are unwilling to participate in UBI or telematics-based programs because there is a lack of privacy. While we are seeing more drivers participating in telematics programs than ever before, some consumers we surveyed indicated hesitancy in signing up due to privacy concerns, said president of the IRC, Dale Porfilio. Tesla's in-house insurance program utilizes UBI in all 12 states it is available in, except for one, California. 
It should be clear, like we are pushing very hard for California to change the rules to allow informatics, which basically means that you know, you're as safe as your driving is measured, CEO Elon Musk said, during the Q4 and full year 2021 earnings call in January. California's insurance commissioner, Ricardo Lara, pushed back against Musk's comments just one day later. Lara said, the state upholds and implements consumer protections, outlined in voter-enacted Proposition 103, which has been active since 2009. Lara's comments still hold true for some consumers. The IRC study showed, drivers are reluctant to participate in a telematics program because they are either not interested or may be concerned that their driving style may increase rates. Younger drivers were less likely to express concerns about their privacy, but also expressed the most interest in reducing insurance premiums. Moving to the next update, Tesla Sentry Mode gets refined to better detect vehicle break-ins. Tesla Sentry Mode received two major refinements in a recent software update, one of which will help better detect vehicle break-ins by limiting camera-based detection. Sentry Mode utilizes Tesla's eight external vehicle cameras to record events where bystanders come close to the vehicle. It has been a success, foiling the break-in and robbery attempts of many criminals, catching crystal clear images of a perpetrator's face. However, the feature has its flaws. Camera and movement-based detection can set off persistent alarms and notifications that someone is close to your Tesla. In instances of high-foot traffic areas, like major shopping outlets or metropolitan street parking, owners can receive notifications about their car being potentially threatened nearly every time someone walks by it. According to Not a Tesla app, which first reported the new features, Tesla is adding the option to turn off camera-based detection with software update 2022.44.2 in an attempt to limit recordings and notifications. Instead, turning this feature off will only alert owners when their vehicle is being broken into. The report indicates sentry mode alerts will be activated in the event of a window break and car door opening or a tilt sensor being triggered. The limitation of clips will alarm owners when a legitimate threat is present but could leave some potential vandalism events unrecorded if the car is not forcibly entered. Tesla will also allow owners to control the length of the clips that sentry mode records. When sentry mode is activated, it can record for several minutes to assure the entire event is captured on camera. Tesla is now allowing owners to control this length by entering sentry mode settings and can be adjusted in minutes. Moving to the last update, Tesla updates Model S and X with larger rear screen. Tesla is always making continuous improvements to their vehicles. Sometimes these updates take place under the hood, like the single-piece rear casting, while other times they are more visible changes, like going from chrome to black trim. The latest update falls in that latter category, as Tesla has updated the Model S and presumably the Model X with a larger rear screen. The larger rear screen was first shared by Vlad Ionit on Facebook, who noticed a change while attempting to add a screen protector designed for the original version. As you can see in the image here, the change is quite substantial. On the left is the previous version of the screen, and the bezels are about 1 inch thick. On the right is the new screen, showing the bezels are significantly smaller. We have been unable to confirm when this change made it into production, or whether existing owners will be able to pay to have the larger screen installed. It was also not clarified if the new screen brings with it the ability to connect Bluetooth headphones. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.